Hello everyone, welcome to today's vlog. I am so excited to be vlogging today because I feel like I haven't done a proper day in my life vlog in a while. So welcome. If you are new here, it is so nice to meet you. My name is Hunter. I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel down below. I just hit 6,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to me. So thank you so much if you have already subscribed. I never thought 6,000 was even possible. So thank you so much. But now I made a to-do list for today, yesterday. So like I sat down at my desk, wrote out the to-do list. And so we've got some things we need to do. And when I say we, I mean me. First thing, being a shower. I went to the gym this morning. I don't know if you can tell, I'm disgusting. I feel so gross. You can't see it because I'm wearing a white shirt and also I am like not showing you my body, but literally like my shirt is sticking to me and I feel absolutely disgusting. Normally I just do cardio, but I did more than just cardio today. So that's why I feel so disgusting, but I do feel good that I got up and worked out. And now I'm having my coffee. I used a Melozio Nespresso pod with a little bit of milk and six pumps of salted caramel syrup that I made at home yesterday. And I wish I would have vlogged that because that would have been really fun. But yeah, here we have it. Also, I figured out that six pumps is like the amount that they put in a venti at Starbucks. So that's why I put six pumps. And it's actually fantastic. So it's just a nice coffee, but it's delicious. It's currently 11.42. I still have a summary background on my phone and I, it's really annoying me every time I look at it. Also, because my iPad is really summary, but I know iOS 15 is coming out soon and I really want to do a video of making over my iPad and my phone with iOS 15. So that's why I haven't changed it yet because if you look at my icons, they're also very summery. They're blues and greens and purple, which is beautiful. I love it, but I think that I need to do something more fallish. So I am just waiting on iOS 15 to be released. I have no idea when that's coming out, but I thought it'd be fun to do a video of that because you guys seem to like it whenever I do stuff on my phone and my computer, so on my iPad. So that's why I'm waiting to do it as a video. But I need to shower, like I said, because I'm disgusting. We have an Airbnb guest staying right now and he's been the most fantastic guest of all time like I've literally run into him one time but he takes the longest showers like my bathroom and the guest bathroom are like wall to wall with each other oh my gosh he literally takes the longest showers so long literally the longest showers I think he's usually in there for like an hour but anyway I don't really want to take a long shower today but I'm kind of putting it off at the moment because I have laundry in the dryer and it's got like 15 minutes left basically I don't like any of my clean underwear. Like, do you have just like a set of underwear that you use and then whenever it's time for you to do laundry, like you know it's time to do laundry when you've run out of your favorite pairs. That's what's happening. Also, I don't have like any athletic shorts to wear around the house and I don't wanna put like real pants on, so let's go. It's dark. Sometimes it can get rough. Feeling down, feeling low. You'll never be alone. Not when you're right with you me. Oh, I won't see no you and me. Every time we get mad, promise I won't turn my back, even if it takes some time. Never wanna see you. Does anyone else ever feel like a new person when you wash your hair? I um washed my hair on Saturday and it's Tuesday. So Saturday to Tuesday isn't that long, but like I know a lot of people only wash their hair like once a week, but I can't stand the feeling of dirty hair and my hair is healthier than it's been in a long time. So because of that, it has lots of oils producing and whenever I straighten it or curl it, which I did this weekend, I generally have my hands in it a lot more than I would if I just left it natural because it's easier to manage. So it's really dirty. And then after I worked out, I just needed to wash it. So um, I feel better. I I got this little hair wrap from the dollar section at Target and I'm obsessed with it. I love these things. I've talked about them in videos before. Oh, by the way, I guess I'll show you my skincare. I just used this. It's a BHA clarified gel cream from Good Molecules. Um, I bought this on my birthday actually. And now I need to get some work done. It's literally 12 30 and i haven't gotten any work done today so i really need to do that so there's also more clothes in the dryer because i had two loads you saw me put the second load in the dryer but i don't know if that's gonna be ready i should have started the timer it's a little messy on the floor um so i curled my hair and then for some reason my birkenstocks are just chilling in the floor um this is my to be read notebook and then this is books that need to be read <laughs> i just did a video about most of these books all these videos have shown i mean all these books have shown up in a video at one point and then i did my makeup here the other day and also i blew 
blow dried my hair. So I had my fan sitting here because it gets really hot in here whenever I do. I need to clean this up, but also I have stuff to do. I'm gonna clean this up first because it's gonna be on my mind. So let me just pick this up real quick. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. I have cleaned it up. I love the fan here. This also goes in there. Okay, put the makeup away and then I emptied that box, but I don't know what to do with it for now. So it's just sitting there, but I put all the books down here for now. So we're pleased with that. I'm gonna leave this on for a little bit longer. And now let's tackle today's to-do list, which is right here. One of the best pieces of advice, and I hate to say that Mason was right, but it is to edit on an SSD. I have, I don't know where they are, but I have like regular external hard drives, but this one is an SSD, so it's a solid state drive. It doesn't have a disc or anything, and it works so much faster. My computer is constantly out of storage, so I don't have to worry about my computer being out of storage when I'm editing. So I edit with this. So let me go ahead and I do need to import, I do need to import some footage from this SD card that I'm using right now onto my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. And you can't see me do that because I'm filming with this SD card, but I'm gonna import that really quickly and then we'll get to editing. I'll show you my whole editing flow. Cause people have asked me how I edit my videos before. So I thought I'd show them. So it says there's about nine minutes left right here. I am filming this on my phone. I said I wasn't gonna show you, but I'm showing you anyway. So these are all of the stuff that I filmed the other day for tomorrow's video. And then right here is so far what I filmed today. I'm gonna go ahead and import this onto the computer so that I can format the SD card. So we're getting them both done at the same time. Okay, so the video clips are taking longer than I anticipated to import onto my computer, which is not a problem at all. I just have other things that I can be doing while that's happening that I want to vlog. So I put in a new SD card in my camera and we're going to go ahead and do something else. So I go to Bible study every other Tuesday night and we've only met one time so far, so it is very new. But we decided to read the book of Habakkuk and I have never read that book. I mean, I read it all the way through once, but I've never done it like in a Bible study before. And when I say I read it through once i mean i read through it for this bible study and so i gotta pull it out real quick we have this book called even if a study of habakkuk from the daily grace co it's beautiful and i'm very excited to get into it um because it is an old testament prophet that i'm not familiar with um obviously i know it's there but i've never like taken the time to read it and i think that's why we're doing it just to challenge us a little bit because i find that bible studies can oftentimes be repetitive where you're reading the same things over and over again so i am excited to give this a go so there is okay i pulled up my tiny tiny tripod so there is a youtube channel called the bible project and literally like their videos are always relevant so i decided to just look them up in habakkuk and i'm gonna go ahead and watch that video because we decided so we ordered these books two weeks ago today and i got mine last week but everyone else for some reason didn't get theirs until like earlier like later last week and today and friday so so right now we're just kind of reading over the book um taking like getting our initial takeaways and then we're gonna cover weeks one and two in this book because it'll take us two weeks before we get to the next week so that's what we're doing so i'm gonna go ahead and watch this video real quick and hopefully it will be helpful so let me just watch that real quick Paul's waiting for god's response which eventually comes in fact god says that the okay we are done reading habakkuk for now and now we get to edit so um all righty so i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera here so you can see what i'm doing sometimes this mini tripod just like really loves to irk my nerves finished with the rough cut but because this includes my videos I mean my books I have a book thing on here so that I can just make the graphic really quickly it's like a template already I have to find it where is it here we go 2021 books so it literally is the book and then here's a spot for my rating so I come down here and I do this so that I can put them on my Instagram story as well so I really need to update this a lot because there are a lot of books that I have not put on here um, but this is where I put like my Instagram story as well so I have to go to Goodreads and screenshot all the book covers and I'm gonna do that really quickly and then that way they'll be ready to go whenever I add them to the book not to the book to the video but then also so that I can and transfer them over to my Instagram story as well. So I have to see what the last book that I put on here was. Last one is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. So let's go to Goodreads. When you're feeling like giving up and you're running low on love, I'll be the 
exporting or downloading or whatever and after I get finished with those I'll add them onto the video and then I can add them to my story as well hopefully no one will be annoyed I'll have to start a second highlight because you can only have 100 stories in a highlight so we'll have to have two of them but it'll be a good time cool they're all downloaded so mm, I'm gonna have to airdrop these to my phone okay so my camera died and I'm entirely too lazy to go upstairs to get the charger so let me show you the ingredients that i'm working with and then i'm just kind of kind of play with it and see what happens so every recipe i saw said cheddar cheese shredded so i'm going to shred some of this and then we also have like a mexican mix because it has monterey jack quesadilla cheese so we're going to try this and then some of them said cream cheese so we're going to give that a try it also said butter and half and half so i have this and then i also got some seasonings lol at the mess that i made here it looks so much worse on camera than it does in real life oh my gosh okay ignore that um so it said garlic cayenne pepper onion powder chili powder paprika and cilantro leaves so i'm gonna get out of the pan and just try it okay so update on dinner the cheese was a weird texture but it tasted good um and the quesadillas were good now i'm upstairs and we have the clothes on the bed ready to be folded and put away okay so i am back from bible study i have replaced the battery in my camera so i'm back to filming on my camera where i was filming on my phone earlier so i'm going to finish up a few things the last thing that i was doing up here was exporting my video and it has been exported so i am just going to upload it real quick and then i also need to make a thumbnail tags i was <laughs> i was watching something earlier and i was writing notes but i have started to do chapters for my videos so i don't i don't know if you guys have noticed i don't know if you guys have noticed but i have started to do chapters on my videos which is a new ish feature from youtube where you can put the timestamps in the description box and it will like section it out for you so like right now the section will say something and then it, there's like little breaks in the bar at the bottom of the screen down here so that's kind of what it's for just so that you have a better idea of what's going on in the video and so that way if you came to the video for something specific then you can get to it a little quicker so for example in the video i'm uploading now i have my intro and then i went to target and then i did a little haul of the stuff i bought from target and then i tried some prebiotic soda and then after that i started talking about books so if you came to the video just for the books then you can quickly go on there and scroll over to where it says books and you don't have to watch the first part of the video if that's not what you want to watch so i really appreciate that that's a thing i didn't think that i would like it but it's actually really nice and it doesn't take that much more time i just have to pay attention when i'm editing if i don't do it before I edit and then it does take a little bit longer or if I don't do it while I'm editing then it does take a little bit longer but um, and since I'm uploading I just connected my computer to ethernet we have a wi-fi extender up here in our office and I have my computer connected to ethernet so it will upload faster yeah it just went from saying it'll take an hour to 20 minutes and then it said 20 minutes and then it said 11 minutes now it says eight minutes it normally takes less time than this I don't know why it's taking its time right now but now it says five minutes four minutes so it's getting there so if I just add all of like my keywords and my hashtags and my tags and stuff like that um and then this it won't be good to go this video is also longer so that's probably why it took longer for it to upload and then I also have a section on here where I put my subscriber count more for me than anything just so that I can see how many subscribers I had whenever I uploaded that video um most of the time it's like not accurate by the time the video goes live but it gives me an idea of what it was whenever I uploaded it so that's always super helpful okay now that the video is all uploaded I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and in the video here. I'm really proud of myself for actually properly ending a vlog because I never do. But that's all I have for today's video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. And if you watched all the way to this point, thank you so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.